Hey guys, this is Hunter here from Alton Asher Photography, and yeah, it has been a little while, but a lot of things has happened here in the past couple of months. Some things that were extremely amazing, life-changing experiences, like me buying our first home, me and my now wife, as we have become newlyweds last October. So we've gone through a lot of having to move from where we were located closer towards the Atlantic coastlines to a little bit further west out here in Laurel, Delaware. Now, like I mentioned before, there has been a lot of good things and some not so good things that has happened. Well, besides getting a brand new house and getting married, Something really bad happened a couple of months ago to my equipment. Yeah, that one hurt, didn't it? And it kind of ruined my entire Ioptron mount and the wide field scope I was using, the Samiad 135. That was a very expensive oopsie, but luckily the wonderful community that we have here on Delmarva was able to replace everything that I need. In fact, we got some very nice upgrades I'm willing to share out, but that's not the most important thing is tonight we are going to be going after the Seagull Nebula in the constellation of Canis Major. Now this is far into my south, which the wonderful thing here is, look at this awesome horizon here, and not to mention, it's darker here too. We are now going from a Bortle 5 to a wonderful Bortle 3 skies, and we just had snow recently. We finally have winter for the first time in the last two years. We got about four inches of snow here at the new house in Laurel, so it's going to be a very cold night. It's been windy the past couple of days. We've been having ground blizzards, but now hopefully the winds are calming down and we can get back to imaging, even though we do have a gibbous moon right now. Well, we're getting things set up here because it is about to be nightfall, but I wanted to show you what uh, new equipment we got here now. All thanks to the wonderful community here helping me out after the last incident. And let me tell you, we upgraded quite a bit to this new setup. Now, there has been a lot of new additions since the Ioptron mount has been DOA. We upgraded now to the ZWO AN5 on a carbon fiber tripod and as well as the extension. Really strange not seeing a counterweight here anymore, but it's not needed for anything that is less than 28 pounds. But now combining with the Rocketon 135 F2 UMC lens that is adapted to my ZWO ASI 2600 MC Pro one-shot color camera, and then the brand new ZWO EFW electronic filter wheel, as I don't have to keep changing out filters all the time, I could just be lazy on the inside. And of course, still rolling with the ASI Air Plus with the 120mm for the guide camera.
Well, now it is morning and I captured about seven hours of data on the seagull and actually was able to fit in Thor's helmet all in the same field of view as well. We had no clouds whatsoever, but man, it was a bitterly cold night. So we're going to see what the final results look like. And thank you for everyone who has helped out in the past and continue to support the channel as this continues my endeavors going forward. Make sure to hit like, comment, subscribe. I love talking to the community here. And here's the final results of what we came up with after seven hours of data on the Seagull and Thor's helmet. And as always, clear skies, and I'll see you soon.